Well, hello, hello, you who are watching. I am here with a fine gentleman. George Collins is here in the house. Hey, George. Hey, everyone. <laughs> so this is fun. I wanted to talk to you, George, because um, I know a little bit about you and you've done a very interesting project now. You've uh, released some songs, but you also have a very interesting history that I think is going to be inspiring for a lot of people. Now, you uh, live in Prague. And we actually mm -hmm. met in Prague when I was there briefly. But you're yep. not from Prague, are you? No, I'm not. I was uh, born in Washington, D.C. and grew up on the east coast of the U.S. And I moved over to Prague 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk a little bit. We're going to get to what you're doing today because you have, like we said, I said you have released some songs. And mm -hmm. they sound really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll play it a little bit also, but it's interesting how they came about. But let's back up before we go there, but let's back up a little bit because you have a story that's probably quite common. You mm -hmm. had a dream of being a musician and then life went a different route. You mm -hmm. became a successful business person and now you're going back to your original passion so you you played in high school did you that's right I, I actually got my first guitar when I was four and I was uh, my earliest memories are of my brothers bringing home the Beatles rubber soul in December 1965 and I listened to that album continuously and I can still do mm. and uh, I always wanted to be a songwriter and a singer and and if I couldn't be in the Beatles and I wanted to have my own band and I played in lots of bands through high school and in college and for a couple of years thereafter, and uh, and then, uh, as you said, life intervened, and I took a detour and uh, pursued a business career for a while. But in co in college, you played with some interesting musicians, didn't you? I did. I did indeed. Um, I played in a band. One of the bands I was in uh, was uh, was a, was an eleven piece Earth, Wind, and Fire esque uh, uh, outfit called Common Knowledge. And uh, I was the only white guy, but I, I felt that uh, I, I was uh, privileged to join because I had this gigantic curly afro. I kind of looked like Brian May from Queen, you know. Mm -hmm. and I was <laughs> I was the lead guitar player, and uh, we were playing a mix of funk and soul and rhythm and blues and jazz, and uh, we were we were we were <laughs> we were good. We played a lot of gigs around town, around Charlottesville, Virginia, where I went to school, and. Uh, after two years or so, the band broke up, and I went off to grad school. Uh, two of the members of the band, uh, Carter Beauford, the drummer, and Leroy Moore, who was the head of our five-piece horn section, they hooked up with a local bartender named Dave Matthews, and uh, they became founding members of the Dave Matthews Band and went off to uh, worldwide fame and stardom and riches and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I love their stuff. And uh, I'm still in touch with uh, with Carter. In fact, I was backstage with him and Dave at their most recent concert in Prague. Mm. And I said, uh, I said, I said to them, you know, I tell people that I was in the Dave Matthews band even before Dave Matthews. <laughs> and Dave just clicked his bottle of Heineken to mine and said, you know, if anyone ever asks me about that, I will back you up 100 <laughs> percent. And uh, Carter, Carter gave me his drumsticks here. Uh, you can see uh, they're they're deeply used. Man, he just. Uh, He's phenomenal. He's a he's a phenomenal drummer. Anyway, but I was really privileged to uh, to play with uh, such great musicians. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and now, uh, well, that's so great that you're still in back. touch. That's yes, really cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So then, so then, like you said, so you, then you went into finance, and you were there that many years. Moved to Prague, had the life there. But there's something within about music. Yes. Indeed, indeed, indeed. You know, 10 years ago, um, you know, I was turning 50. My wife was pregnant with our first child. And I, you know, had been very, very satisfied and, you know, engaged with my uh, business career. But I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, uh, to make a change. I want to get back to my creative pursuits and passions. I want to get back into my writing, get back into my music. Uh, and you know, I can always make more money. I can never make more time, and now, now is the time to get back to it. Mm. So I, um, I, uh, I left my uh, my finance career, 
and got back into my writing and my music uh, in a big way, became a full-time dad, full-time musician, full-time writer, and uh, haven't looked back. So I uh, was writing a lot of songs. I mean, I wrote hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs during my student days, uh, you know, largely forgettable, derivative stuff. But I uh, started writing a batch of really, you know, what I thought were really good new songs a couple years ago. Okay. And the technology from the time when I was, you know, playing professionally back in the 80s and early 90s uh, till today has completely changed the industry uh, where you don't need a publishing deal. You don't need a label. You can record your own music. You can get it out on Spotify, get it out on YouTube, get it out on TikTok, what have you. These are technologies that didn't exist a few years ago. I knew nothing about them a few years ago. And uh, my learning curve, uh, partly thanks to you, has been uh, very steep in this area. But I've been working with session musicians remotely. Uh, I mean, top quality people in Nashville and L.A. and New York, you know, getting my music recorded. And uh, then they send back to me to do overdubs and do my vocals. And I get my music recorded in a, in a first class way. And I'm able to get it out into the world mm -hmm. in a way that... Uh, is incredibly fulfilling, exciting, and challenging. And I, I couldn't be happier with it right now. And I That's owe a lot of this uh, to you, Per. Well, well thank you. I'm, I'm curious to know about that. But first, I, yes. um, it is amazing when we embrace technology in that way yes. that, that you've done. Yes. And I remember myself, frankly, when I wrote a lot of songs when I was in high school and um, I could it was so difficult to record anything that came out remotely as I heard it in my head and that yeah. I thought that was extremely frustrating and it would yes. co cost so much money to get something to sound even half decent so <laughs> yeah well, maybe, I mean, I, maybe I just didn't have the skills who knows but that's it's remarkable that you've done this that you've taken this on and obviously there's been something that's been <laughs> sort of feeding your soul there inside and felt yes, that yes. I, I got to do it right and I think a lot of people feel that way that they and it's not necessarily obviously about success and fame but to be able to express what you have within and to be able to create it's very admirable and I, I congratulate you for you. having taken you. on this project and it I'm sure it wasn't easy all the time right <laughs> It's Nothing. been a, it's been it's, it's been a lot of work, but uh, a lot of fun, and uh, and no one's forcing me to do this. I mean, I could be playing golf every day if I wanted. In fact, my my golf buddies are out there. What what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, I say no, yeah. no, no. I'm in the studio today, man. <laughs> so let, let's play a little bit here, and then we'll talk okay. talk a little bit more about how it came about and what you've done to prepare for it and so forth. So you have a bunch of songs. And uh, we'll put uh, your website is is georgecollinsband.com and and from there exactly. pe people can go to uh, various see videos and audios and yes. stuff like that. I'm going to yeah. play a little bit of a song here that's called "It's Been a Long Time." Mm -hmm. That's kind of sort of uh, what we're talking about here, in a sense. Indeed, right? indeed. That's the uh, it's the title track to my. Uh, this is going to be showing backwards, but. To my uh, the just released EP came out last week. It's been a long time. It looks and, fine. Uh, I think it's backwards backwards for you, not for us. But yeah, anyway, okay. yes. You see it? Okay, yeah. great. So it's the it's the first five singles that I released uh, over the past uh, eight or nine months, and I I called the EP. It's been a long time, not only because it's the the name of one of the songs, mm -hmm. but also it's sort of signifies my return to music full-time after a layoff of about 20 years yeah. and uh, and everything that that entails. So it's a it's a double double meaning yeah. uh, with yeah. the title, uh, yeah. which I find very fulfilling. Yeah. Well, let's play it here. Well, we won't play the whole song. If, okay. Um, hopefully people will go and uh, listen to the full song and your, be great. your other songs. But let's play yeah. a little bit and then we'll talk about uh, like we said a little bit more how it came about and how you actually okay. made, made this happen all right are you ready okay. listen yeah. to this ladies and gentlemen it's been a long time with george collins <laughs> Days and sleepless nights have passed 
All right, all right. How cool is that? Yeah, thank you. Are you singing the harmony also? No, no. Uh, some of the harmonies I'm singing, uh, but I, I do all the leads, some of the harmonies, and I also have uh, another guy doing some of the harmonies. Yeah, because that was crazy high there. So, <laughs> <laughs> how cool. So, only the vocals are recorded in Prague then? Is that it? Y yes, but what, what I do, I mean, my process is, uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's, it's a remote process. And so, I, I write all the songs, and then I record demos uh, with an engineer in a studio here in Prague where I play all the instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, and I work with a keyboard player, but I'm doing the guitars, the bass, all the vocals, all the harmonies and backing vocals. And then I have a fully produced demo that I send to a producer in Nashville. And then he parcels out the parts to session musicians uh, based on the tracks that I provided, based on the, uh, the charts that I provided, based on I'll, I'll even record bass lines or suggested horn parts or what have you, send that all to them. They uh, layer on the tracks remotely, and then we it's a, a continuous process of back and forth, back and forth, and tweaking and getting it just right. And mm -hmm. once they've got the instrumentals just right, just as I wanted, they send back to me. I go back to the studio here in Prague, lay down my lead vocals and some of the backing and harmony vocals, and uh, send it back to them. And they do the you know the mixing and the mastering, and boom. So. Now, each track takes a few months. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes a long time, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, the end result is something I'm really proud of. Yes, yes. And, and you... this would this would not have been possible, you know, back when I was uh, starting out in the '80s and '90s. Right, right. Amazing, incredible, very, very cool. So, how about your? So, so how come then you found me? Because you've been that was quite a. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, I've uh, I've been a member of the Singing Zone for I guess uh, at least five or six years. When I started getting back into music and started performing, uh, I was looking around online for different music courses and, and music programs. I came across your work, and it strongly resonated with with my uh, you know my my practice, my beliefs, my value system, and it just worked for me. Uh, it really resonated on, on multiple levels. And I found it, uh, as I started getting back into performing in clubs uh, around Prague, uh, you know, just phenomenal in terms of, you know, after a 20-year layoff, I needed to do a lot of work to get back into shape vocally, in terms of training my ear, in terms of building up the, the lung capacity, uh, you know, the freedom with the, the, the various body parts, the jaw, the, the tongue, the, 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 the larynx, everything else. Um, and so it was phenomenal. And then, um, you know, a couple years later, when you started rolling out some other programs, the Business with Freedom, for example, I went through that twice. Mm. And that is what really inspired me to start setting up, you know, my own music business as an independent artist. Mm. Initially, I thought I would just, uh, you know, write songs and, and sell them to a publisher. But your course and, and you know, persuaded me that I can do this as an indie artist. I can set up a website. I can go on and on these platforms. I can release music onto YouTube and Spotify and all these other places, and uh, do it myself, you know, from Prague. And then, of course, the uh, the Peak Performance Mastery uh, and the Perform with Freedom, they have been instrumental in helping me raise my game. And uh, you know, I just played last week my first gig uh, in two years since uh, since COVID. And it was time to coincide with the release of my EP, but it was, uh, you know, first time on stage in two years. You better believe I went through the peak performance mastery and the perform with freedom in detail, taking notes and da 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 da, da to make sure that I was ready for what was a very important gig, and as it turns out, a very successful one. Yeah. So really, kudos and thanks so much to you, Pear, for not just the voice, but also the business side and the performance side. Uh, which all, you know, it all integrates. It's 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 wonderful. So thank you. Oh wow, that is wonderful, and thank you. You're right; it does integrate. And uh, when it comes to the peak performance, 
as you've noticed, it's not just about being up on stage. It's also dealing with all the setbacks when you're recording and all this stuff, all the crazy things, all the crises, all the business stuff, right? You got to learn to flow when things aren't flowing. <laughs> well said. I didn't say that. That was <laughs> <laughs> my Qigong teacher says that. <laughs> No, that's that is wonderful. And when it comes to the voice, then specifically, yeah, because many people think that oh, either you sing or you don't. Either no. you have a voice or you don't have a voice. But you notice the difference then, but not having sung for twenty years. Oh what, yeah. What What did you experience then? Do you remember when you started training? Well, it, what, what's 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 funny is that when I in my student days, I was a completely untrained singer. I, I just thought that singing was some you just you know got up and and got in front of a mic and just sort of you know sang. I, I yeah. had no idea that you actually needed to train uh, to build up uh, your 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 lung power, uh, to build up your your sense of pitch, to build up uh, all the different uh, tools and techniques that uh, are required with singing. I just got up there and and, and winged it. And uh, you know, I was I you know I made it work, but I, I'm sure that the people listening to it, I mean, they enjoyed my shows. But uh, you know, I'm a much, 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 much better singer now uh, that I'm actually trained and having gone through your programs than I was, you know, 40 years ago. Uh, it, it, it's, it's quite incredible. So yeah, when I got back, that's what that's what I recognized was that I need to learn how to sing properly. And that's when I, you know, started doing your programs, and or, or, it, or sing effectively, perhaps we could say. So yes, yes, because yes, yes, as, as you know, it's not, necessarily, not necessarily by right, right or wrong, but but also so that you can sing a full gig and you can do it the next day too. So the endurance and the strength also, right? Exactly, exactly. So that I mean, when I do a live show, I'm I'm up there for between three and four hours, and I play, you know, fifty to sixty songs. And, uh, you know, that's a lot of work. And, and uh, you know, you've got to be in shape for that. And I did not appreciate, you know, when I was 20 years old, you know, the physicality of it was, you know, I, you know, I was, was just sort of natural. But now that I'm 60, you know, I need to actively work to stay in shape and keep my, my body and my voice in shape. And that requires, uh, you know, training. It requires work. It requires effort and attention. Yeah. But the result is so much better. I'm, uh, you know, and I've even noticed uh, in the two years now that I've been recording my songs. I was just in the studio yesterday, laying down new tracks that are going to be released next year, and you know, I'm singing so much better now than I was even a year ago. Wow! Uh, it's just uh, you know the the the, 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 the pro, you know the improvement is uh, is noticeable, and even my my engineer commented on this. Isn't uh, that so, a wonderful feeling? It I, is. I often talk about that I love to learn. I love to explore what's possible. But just that internal feeling of feeling a sense of improvement, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it is a beautiful thing. And, you know, as I said, you know, I'm 60 years old, and a lot of people my age are ready to just hang it up and, and you, know, you know, sail off to the sunset. And I've got big ambitions for the future, and I... I know I'm going to be a much better singer, songwriter, musician, etc. in in two, five, ten, twenty years. Yeah, uh, that's cool. You know, I've got you know long range plans, and uh, I'm going to keep getting better. That's you know, life is about uh, what, what what do the Japanese call it? Uh, kaizen, kaizen, continuous improvement. Yes. continuous improvement. We studied that in concept in business school, and. You know, in the 1990s, when the Japanese were cleaning the clocks of American businesses, but it's a concept I've taken on board and have integrated into my life. Continuous right. improvement, kaizen. Yes, continuous small improvements create a great yeah. big difference. After, exactly. After one, so but it, this is so good because also when it comes to age, many times we have something happens to our body, and then often we associate that with oh, it's age. Right. Well, of course, we can get away with anything, perhaps in our twenties, but yeah. and hopefully we become wiser in that sense that we realize, okay, I can't take things for, for granted. I actually need to do something, but we yeah. can't use age as an excuse because if I let's say I can, I can only sing for ten minutes now, and I used to be able to sing. Well, maybe it's just because you haven't trained. That's exactly right. So yeah. 
So good for you that you have that mindset, because if you didn't have that mindset, first of all, you probably wouldn't have been successful in business. Second of all, you wouldn't have been able to take on a new project in your life and make that successful either, right? So it's yeah, very inspiring. Mindset, mindset is all. Mindset is everything. And then, you know, following from the mindset, then you do the actual the work. Yes. But it's 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 a it's a joy, it's a pleasure. You know, when I finish my trainings, it's like I'm better. You know, <laughs> and this is good, you know? Yeah. You know? Or I wrote a better song or I, I, I sang that lick really well. You yeah. know, it's it's working. Which doesn't mean that we don't have bad days. And that's the whole of point also. Yeah. With Sure. with, with uh, the peak performance and all, all of the business training and, and the voice training is that it's on a good day we can't get away with whatever but it's on bad days that's when we need skills yes that's what we train for yes yes yeah exactly right exactly right yeah 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 so that you've got you got that base yeah. to get you over the hump uh, if you're you know running into uh, any challenges or struggles yeah. You know, you, you, you can you have that reserve to draw upon. Exactly right. Very cool. So this gig that you did now recently, um, that was at the Hard Rock, right? Yeah, the Hard Rock Cafe in Prague. It's uh, the largest one in Europe. Yeah. And I, I timed it to coincide with the release of my uh, my first EP, and uh, had a lot of friends uh, down there. And uh, it's a lot, you know. It just it, there are hundreds and hundreds of people. It was a great gig. It so, was so much fun. So how to be up on that stage? It, it, that's, yeah, and I was going to ask you that. So, how did it feel stepping up on that stage? And it's been a, because because of COVID, also it's uh, been a while yeah. for everybody, right? But how did it feel doing that? It felt phenomenal. And uh, you know, in the in the days before the show, I was running into friends, and they were saying, "Oh, you're feeling nervous. You're feeling nervous." I said, "Man, I am too busy to be nervous." You know, <laughs> I was I was training. You know, I was training. I was doing the doing the workouts, you know, the the five day workouts from the singing zone. I did them in the in the week before the show, and uh, all the warm ups and everything, and my voice was in it was in great shape, uh, and I was really confident. So I just walked up there, and I just grabbed the guitar, strapped it on, and just boom, <laughs> it was wonderful. Amazing. You know, I never looked back. Yeah, congratulations, fantastic. So what's next for you now? Well, I've uh, I've been in the studio recording the demos uh, for the six new songs that I've written uh, over the over the summer, mm -hmm. and they're going to get into production now. And I hope to release them, start releasing the singles uh, beginning of the year, mm -hmm. and that will be you know, the next EP uh, that will come out next year. Mm -hmm. And I've got uh, I've got uh, already a working title for my third EP. And a bunch of uh, tunes on the drawing board that I'm going to be writing, you know, this fall, mm. and so I can get that, you know, in the pipeline. You got to keep feeding the beast, mm. and I'm going to be continuing to, you know, every day, uh, work on my vocal training, work on my uh, guitar. I'm in a, a couple, you know, online guitar courses, mm. uh, songwriting. I'm working with some songwriting mentors. I'm heading down to Spain in two weeks uh, for a songwriting retreat. Okay. And uh, you know, expect to uh, you know you know write a bunch of new songs there. Yeah. And I've also got uh, I've got a, I'm committed to finishing my novel before the end of the year. I'll get that okay. published. Busy, uh, so busy, I'm, busy. I'm busy, 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 busy. I mean, my my friends who who used to know me from uh, from my financial career say, "Man, aren't you bored being retired?" I say, "Man, I have never been busier." And I've got two young daughters at home, by the way, ten and six. Yeah, yeah. And they keep me busy, so uh, yeah. my hands are full. <laughs> but it, it sounds like you're creating things that make you inspired to wake up in the mornings. Yes. I yes. often talk yes. about that. If if we're inspired mm -hmm. to wake up in the morning, we're doing something good, probably. Now so, I, I I jump out of bed in the mornings. Amazing. I really do. I Amazing. Really well, this has been so much fun. You know, I was thinking it's possible that people who see this might be curious to learn more about how you actually go about setting that up and creating these virtual things and creating recordings virtual. So um, that might be interesting if um, people want to learn that. Maybe you have something to share in that. I'm sure you do. Sure. Obviously. Yeah, absolutely. No, there's, I mean, the, the, the tools and technology available now for singers, songwriters, indie musicians, uh, you know, are, there's just so much out there yeah. and I've been absorbing them and I've been utilizing them and 
you know, your programs and, and others as well. Uh, you know, there's a lot out there. And, you know, if anyone wants to start a dialogue, they can go to my website, georgecollinsband.com, sign up for my list, and I'll, I'll send me an email, and I'll, I'll write you back. I read every I read every email that comes to me. Yeah. And I reply. Terrific. Yeah. All right, georgecollinsband.com. Collins with two L's. That's right. <laughs> I tell people, I, when I go to uh, shops and restaurants here in Prague, I say, George Collins. It's kind of like George Harrison plus Phil Collins. <laughs> they go, ah! <laughs> of course, those are two of my biggest influences. So There you uh, go. It works. Perfect. It works. Perfect. <laughs> All right, George. You are an, adma- an inspiration for a lot of people. We admire what you've done. Congratulations for having um, done what you've done. And uh, look forward to... Uh, see and hear the new stuff that's coming up great right stay yeah stay tuned for new tunes they're coming uh you know they're coming uh, early next year so fantastic and check out the other tunes that are already um released for you who are watching yeah i think you'll like them they're they're really good they're really good i'm really proud of uh the first ep thank you so much george bye for now thank you pair